So I just want to update you guys with this video on the car. Just kind of give you guys a reminder. I'm still working on it. Good news, the TRE brackets have shown up. Here goes the front and here's the rear. I ended up getting that smile off, drilled up, and basically had to break off the bolts that kind of like hold the smile on both edges. The smile is off, the brackets mount to this bolt and this bolt. We're gonna have to take off this front impact tube. We got the one side strap off. I'm pretty sure we might have to remove this and then the bumper can get fitted once again. So a little progress update. I got the one impact absorber off of that side. It was pretty simple. Just those two bolts, one, two, and then the one bolt back there. So that side was simple. I got just the strap off, but this big boy was in the way to get this bolt. With a lot of WD-40 and a lot of sit time, I got this strap unbolted from the bottom. And then there was another nut that basically was bolted right here. Definitely removing the tire would have made it easier to get that bolt off, but this was a perfect exact fit to kind of be able to remove it. So now it's definitely free. I just have to disconnect all those lines up there. The hose right there. And then another line and it should fall down. And this thing still got fluid in it. Oh brother, it is definitely crusty. Everyone said it'd be crusty, dusty up there. Gonna go ahead and remove this. And I have access to that now, which is sweet. I might delete this tank. So the next step is gonna be removing that 13 millimeter bolt. This is gonna come right off. And then we're gonna be able to refit the front bumper and see exactly how much finessing we're gonna have to do. So the bolt's out, we should be able to So yeah, there's a front. Got a nice little slice. Oh well. So, of course, got the clamp off and I sliced myself in the hand. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna unscrew that cap and then remove the tank and be able to refit the bumper. Finally. So the tank is off. Still has some fluid in there, which is insane. Super nasty up there too, so. Go ahead and try to put the bumper. So fast forward about a month or so, after I got that washer bottle off, I didn't have anything laying around to mock up the bumpers. So I ended up doing it off camera. It was just pretty inconvenient doing it in this warehouse where I'm working on it right now. As you can see, there's racks built around the car at this point, so I kind of have to maneuver it in and out. I just basically put on the bumpers, put some masking tape to hold them on. We're gonna go ahead and get into the fitment a little bit. There are some issues I ran into it, so let's get into it now. Back at it with the Porsche. It's been chilling here for over a month or so. One of the oil cooler hoses actually blew off while I was pulling it forward and I didn't even know until like a few seconds later. So it dumped like a couple quarts of oil on the ground. So anyways, we got the tank off. Now we are going to have to do something about this front bumper. I was actually gonna to attempt to slice it and dice it myself. I'm actually going to take it to a few places to see if they can do it professionally and quickly. Uh, if the price is outrageous, then I'm gonna attempt to do it myself. Cause like, if not, I'll just buy another bumper at that point. Cause I'm not about to pay something ridiculous to kind of just trim it a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys on each side just how much too wide it is. And then we're basically gonna have to split the difference, trim it, and then hopefully we'll be able to mock it up after that. The rear looks money, but the front is what's giving us trouble. Check it out. So this size, I'd say flush. That's basically perfect over here. It looks good. And as you see, this side, it's about, say, an inch, inch and a half too wide. So there's no flex in this bumper. It's pretty solid. So the rear bumper has some flex. It's, you're able to kind of move it a little bit for adjustment. So the rear is fine, but the front definitely needs some love. So we're going to go ahead and just measure across and see how much we're going to need to take off to 
shrink the width of this bumper. So as you can see from the flat edge, the other side's flush, this side's about an inch too wide. Basically gonna have to take off half an inch on each side. I might probably do like inch and an eighth or so, but I don't wanna do too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the bumper off, load it in my car, take it to a few local places, see what they'll quote me. That way I'll know it'll be done good, it'll be sturdy, and it'll be done quick so we can keep moving on this car. It definitely slowed me down with this bumper adjustment, so that's why I kinda put it to the side. I had a few other projects I was working on, but I definitely wanna hop back on this thing. I got time to work on it i'm gonna go ahead and get the bumper off put it in my car you'll either see it getting done at a shop or me attempting it so be sure to stay tuned after that we're gonna start mocking up the brackets and then body work body work body work this thing is sweet so be sure to stick around and see what we do to it there's infinite things we can do to these cars there's updates coming out for them every day let's get it bumpers all loaded up in my car we had to move the 911 from inside there was an inspector here that was just checking out it was blocking some exit i didn't have to move it outdoors i just had to move it away from that door but i'm planning on moving this thing somewhere else where i can have a better time working on it so yeah we're out here covered it up just in time for the snowfall so yep gotta roll with the punches so we're gonna go ahead and try to get that bumper wrapped up start putting the brackets on next episode so make sure you stay tuned hope you enjoyed i'll catch you guys next time and as always be blessed be superish.